clean or dirty fill, clay, shale, scrapings or builder's waste. Soil or fill excavated from a property within the fire ant biosecurity zones is at a risk of carrying fire ants. Just because you can't see fire ants or their nests doesn't mean the property is fire ant free. New fire ant nests can take several months to form and even then, some can be hard to spot. Anyone using or working with materials that can carry fire ants is legally obliged to do everything in their power not to spread fire ants. Our soil movement guidelines explains how you can safely move soil within the fire ant biosecurity zones. If you're wanting to move excavated soil within a fire ant biosecurity zone or from zone one to zone two, you should follow one or more of the following options. Treat the soil before excavation, only move soil source from below one meter underground. Disturb the soil during or after excavation or store the soil appropriately. If you're looking to treat the site before moving the soil, you should do so at least two weeks before excavating. This involves treating the entire site with fire ant bait as well as directly killing all nests found. Check out our fire ant treatment options video for detailed instructions. If you do find fire ants, you must report them within 24 hours. And if you don't have a licensed pest manager on staff, we suggest you hire someone trained in effective fire ant treatment. Fire ant colonies are typically located within the top one metre of soil. This means that you can potentially move soil excavated from below one metre without any further action. You must do this within 21 days of excavating the soil. If you are using this option, the soil being moved off-site must only come from an area that has been checked for fire ants by a licensed pest manager after removing and stockpiling the top metre of soil. After excavating the soil below one metre, the stockpiled material can either be used on-site or taken to an approved waste facility located in the same fire ant biosecurity zone. Remember, moving fire ants off-site is an offence. This method is not recommended when the soil you're working with is soft, loamy or sandy. There is a higher risk that fire ant queens may be deeper than one metre below the surface in this type of material. You also have the option of mitigating the risk by disturbing the material you want to move. Disturbance means vigorously turning, crushing or screening the soil. For best results, you should use a combination of these activities. The disturbance must be thorough and vigorous enough to have an impact on any fire ant nest that may be present. This means the movement needs to be capable of crushing and injuring individual queen ants, killing a nest, or encouraging any surviving fire ants to move their nest elsewhere. We recommend mechanically disturbing large stockpiles in smaller batches to ensure all material is thoroughly disturbed. Soil stored at a location in the fire ant biosecurity zones should be subject to these kind of disturbance activities every 21 days and 24 hours before moving the material to another location. If storing or stockpiling soil for more than 24 hours, you should keep it off ground and covered. This could be in a shed or covered with a shade cloth or tarpaulin. Alternatively, you can keep the soil covered and stored on either concrete or bitumen. Sand is not appropriate you need to make sure there are no cracks in the surface. You can also store the soil on a barrier, such as a 200 micron unperforated plastic sheet or compacted ground that has been treated. If you choose to follow any of the on-ground storage methods, you should also apply a chemical treatment around the stockpile. Effective treatment is a 30 centimeter wide strip of bifenthrin based insecticide. If the soil is stored on compacted ground, the whole surface area should also be treated. The treated area must also be free of materials that the ants could use to cross over the chemical and into the soil. This could be twigs or part of the covering. All chemicals must be used as per the Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority permit, the safety data sheet and the product label. The permit contains mixing and application instructions for bifenthrin products of various strengths. In summary, Moving fire ants is an offence. You can move soil within the same fire ant biosecurity zone if you follow the treatment, storage and movement requirements outlined in this video, or take the material directly to a waste facility that accepts fire ant material. 
If you want to move soil from Fire Ant Biosecurity Zone 2 to Zone 1 or outside the zones, you must apply for a biosecurity instrument permit. If you are buying soil or soil products, you should also ask the seller if the material has been produced and stored in accordance with the regulation. You don't want to be responsible for bringing this pest into your neighbourhood. Make sure you keep records of the actions taken. These will help prove you are compliant. Records must be kept for at least two years and failure to do so could result in penalties.